2022 will see the conclusions of the Conference on the Future of Europe. Citizens, civil society and stakeholders will present their ideas for change. Parliament and the other EU institutions have promised in turn to follow up on them. Parliament is set to vote for its president in January. Elected every two and a half years, the president chairs plenary sittings and represents parliament in EU institutions and the wider world. Parliament has long pushed for more ambitious climate targets. In 2022, MEPs will debate the Fit for 55 package, which aims for a 55% emissions reduction by 2030. It's part of the EU's plan to reach net zero emissions and safeguard biodiversity. Work will continue on a pact on migration and asylum. Parliament will examine ways of making the system fairer and more effective, ensuring both better screening of new arrivals and protection for those in need. Digital services are a vital part of people's lives and of Europe's economy. But the internet and social media are also home to hate speech, disinformation and counterfeit goods. MEPs will look at legislation to create a safe online environment that protects both users and service providers. Parliament will celebrate European cinema with the 2022 Lux Audience Award. Viewers, together with MEPs, will vote for their favourite film and the winner will be announced in Parliament in June. Parliament is due to vote on special committee recommendations on some of the EU's biggest challenges. They include dealing with foreign interference in European democracies, building a value-based framework for AI and fostering joint action in the fight against cancer.